Hello and welcome to another episode of Lord Splodge Shorts. In this episode we're going to look at a online GTD, getting things done program, called Nirvana. Here's the website, uh, the URL is on screen now. If you don't have an account you can click sign up, however at this moment in time it's invite only. So you'll sign up and when you get the invite they'll send you an e email. Uh, that lets you register. Uh, I'm going to log in. Uh, if you've seen my things screencast, the thing you'll notice immediately is the interface looks just like things for the Mac. In fact, I'll bring things up and we can have a look. As you can see the interface of the two is very similar. This is good because it's a nice layout. Um, so let's have a look at Nirvana in more detail. Just like things, and in fact most GTD programs, uh, including OmniFocus, you'll have an inbox and here is where you dump um, the stuff from your head into the GTD program. So we'll create a new task, just type here. You can also use the keyboard shortcut N. That makes a new to do. So I'm going to call this. We can give it a tag. Uh, we'll look at that later. I can also give it a note, and you can place it in one of the folders. I'll keep it in the inbox. I'm going to save changes. And there we go. We've got three tasks in the inbox. We've got a today option. That's uh, things that you're going to want to do today. In this case, it's the welcome to the Nirvana uh, to-do item. So we'll look at that. Uh, it says go ahead and click around, get a feel for how it works. I'm going to cancel out that. I'm going to put a tick in the box. That marks it as being done. Let's have a look at our next actions. Well, I've done the welcome to Nirvana. The next thing to do is brush up on GTD. So if you see there, I clicked this bar here, dragged it over to today, dropped it on there, it's now in my today. I'll do that with the uh, this one as well. I'm also going to move these, uh, buy some milk and buy some eggs into the next action list the same way. There you go, I've got five next actions there. So we've got inbox where you put stuff today, where you mark stuff that's going to want to get done today. We've got the next action which lists all your next actions. And you've got waiting where you can assign things that you're waiting for somebody. So if I dropped buy some eggs onto waiting, I could put a contact name. So in this case I'm waiting for somebody. So I'm waiting on Yvonne there, I've sent her to buy some eggs. Then we've got scheduled, so I'm going to schedule this. I'm going to schedule it for Sunday. As you can see, that's scheduled to start on November the 21st. The thing is, don't confuse scheduled start dates with due dates. Due dates are when something needs to be done. A scheduled date is when you want something to appear on your radar, but you don't want to worry about it before then. I'm going to now give something a due date. So this is going to be due date of tomorrow, because I'm going to make an omelet. As you can see, it's now going to due date, and it's telling me it's due tomorrow. Okay, someday and later for projects or next actions that you might want to get done at some point. You don't want them in your mind, cluttering up your sort of brain with stuff but you don't particularly want to worry about them in your today and next action list so here you put them so I'm going to build a shed at some point but I'm not particularly worried about it and then we've got projects projects are how you break complicated tasks down into a list of next actions 
So we've got the getting started project. Um, it's a matter to filter this list. Uh, move and sort. As we show earlier, you can drag and drop. Then the shortcuts. And so on and so forth. Uh, to complete a project, you just put the tick in it. Um, if you want to archive anything you've completed, you go to the cog at the top and archive checked items. It's going to tell me it's going to do it. Uh, creating a new project is simply a case of clicking new project, giving it a name. Obviously build shed is actually a project. Uh, you can mark it as active, inactive, scheduled or someday. So I'm going to schedule it for start of next month. I'm just going to create another project. Right, to get next actions into a project, I'm going to create a new next action. So drag and drop there. And you can keep doing that until the project's full. And then you can tick off the next actions as you do them. A couple of other things to look at before we go. And this is, uh, you can focus on an area. Um, so to do that you need to make an area so I'm going to manage an area I'm going to call one called work and I'm going to call one called bicycle now all we need to do is go into a next action and assign it to a specific area so I've gone into the project and I'm going to assign it to bicycle and I'm going to go into my next section here and brush up on GTD and click on that and we're going to assign that to work save the changes there and now I can focus on anything bicycle related anything work related or all areas you can also focus by using tags so if we look in the next action list I'm going to assign some tags so I'm going to call this one GTD this one as well and now at the top there's a bar which lets me show what to do uh, all tags, I can focus on specific tags or no tags, so things that haven't got tags another good thing that Nirvana supports is along in the sort of GTD methodology we have time that you're going to allocate to a task and energy levels so you can do this if you've got high energy do it if you've got low energy so it's five minutes low energy quick look at preferences you can change the font say so we're on a Mac so we'll choose a Mac light font and you can have a dark background or you can show the tag cloud like you see on some blogs Choose what appears in next, well, today's tasks, and project tasks, you can hide them. You can also, under the uh, account settings, you can get it to email, uh, a tickler, that's your current today list on any days. Uh, you can change your password, and change your last name and first name. It's a very good application. My name's Marcus Boyce, thanks for listening to this week's screencast. Stay tuned for more.